So, this video is my top 5 favorite weapons in Splatoon 2. I haven't played it I, a lot, well I have, but I started just recently, so don't expect me to be that good. But yeah, my top 5th favorite weapon in the game is the Flinger Roller. Not that good with it. The weapon's not really that good, but... And I just started using it recently, I hated it, but it has grown on me. It's fun to use, the range, the big range it has is so fun. It's the only roller I like to use in the game. The splash wall I don't really like, but I'm considering switching to the, to the foil cleanser. And the bomb brush I really do like those. Uh, that's kind of the thing holding me back to switching to the other thing. <coughs> but yeah, this is probably my favorite roller from Splatoon 1 or 2. Both of them. I really like the, <coughs> like the mechanic of you flinging like a more narrow but further away. Uh, and I don't... Like, I know the weapon is kind of a meme about it being bad, but it's not that bad. If you learn how to use it, it's actually really good and fun to use. If you haven't tried it out, I recommend it highly. It's super fun to use. Like, you can play it in a lot of ways really aggressive, stealth, or a stealthy way, defensively, or just like a support way. I've seen a lot of people use it like as a support weapon. And, oh yeah, that kind of does it for the things. Uh, I'll let you watch the rest of the match. So that uh, I need to get my video linked up to 10 minutes so I can get that driven. Yay! Okay, but yeah, fine. So, uh, this is my top, f my fourth most favorite weapon in the game. It's the foil squeezer. I'm not that good with it. I'm gonna admit that first. My aim with it sucks. I always happen to miss the last shot. But I just enjoy the way that you can play the weapon. Like you hold down the mouse and the, uh, not the mouse the trigger, and it shoots rapidly and spreads ink. And if you tap, you can do really accurate and long range and high damage shots. There is the thing that it does suffer from the input lag in the game, but I really like the way that it, I just like long range weapons usually, so it just really is a fun weapon for me. The kit I like, I love splat bombs, and the bubble blower happens to be my second most favorite special in the game. Like, <clears throat> and there's the thing that you can play it many ways, but mostly you want to you want to exploit the range of the weapon. Just one of the key most thing or, or the most important things in Splatoon and Splatoon 2 and 1 is to just take advantage of your weapon's range. It's just a normal thing. 
that you need to remember. And the thing is that... Yeah, the, right now the Splattershot Pro does pretty much outmatch it in every single way because of the input lag and stuff. And it does spread around the ink faster. But I enjoy this weapon a lot. I, I like to use it. I'm not that good at aiming with it, but it's fun. And that's the main thing about uh, <coughs> the squeezer for me. And I don't really like the normal squeezer set, I'd like the foil a lot more. Because of the bubble blower and the splat bombs, you can use the splat bombs to flush people out, trap them in corners, make them run towards you. And the bubble blower just useful in every single mode. It's one of the best specials in Clan Blitz. Tower control, you can put them on the tower just to protect your teammates or just get any, uh, get the opposing team off of the tower. Splat zones, you can take the zone with <laughs> bubbles. Rainmaker, just kind of the same as with tower control. But yeah, that's, that's it for the squeezer. I, I'm gonna see you in a bit. I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the match. So, bye. So oh, this is my <coughs> third most favorite weapon, Miss Platin 2, and yes, it's the Forge Platter Shot Pro that I mentioned briefly in the last one, the, the uh, weapon that outmatches the squeeze in pretty much every way, because of it has a nearly identical kit, it doesn't suffer as much from the input lag as the squeezer does, because it doesn't need as precise aim, but it does require some aim, and I do suck <laughs> with aiming it. I always miss the third shot, just... It's kind of a thing with every single weapon I miss the last shot. Because of pressure and just choking in general. But I like the weapon because it's a little bit easier than this piece. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It has good range, it spreads the ink fast. Well, not that fast, but faster than the squeezer. It has suction bombs, which are really very good. Really good. They can be... Just, they can win games, if you know how to use them. I don't, but it's a possibility. Maybe someday. Like, you can stick them to walls where people are walking through. You can flush them out. Same with flat bombs, but even more. Just like laying traps. They have a... I think they have a little bit of... A bigger blast radius, but they are slower. But yeah, they the main thing is that they stick to surfaces. And yeah, the bubble blower goes pretty much with the thing I said with the squeezer. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Splattershot Pro. Or, yeah. or if you want to be fancy, the Forge Pro. Yeah, that's it. Boy, boy.
Okay, <clears throat> this is my second most favorite weapon in Splatoon 2. It is the Splat Charger slash Hero Charger replica. In the video I'm using the Hero, Hero Charger because I just got it. And I like the way it looks more. But yeah. Uh, the Charger is pretty much like on and off for me. Some days I know how to aim really well and some days I miss every single shot. But there's... Pretty much the most satisfying thing in Splatoon 1 or 2 is the sound it ma sound the charger makes when you hit someone with a fully charged shot, like the sound of shattering glass. And yeah, that is so, it feels so good, I always loved, how, loved using chargers in Splatoon 1 and 2. In 1 I love the E-leader, but since the E-leader is kind of outmatched by the normal splat charger in every single way or most ways in Splatoon 2 you just kind of don't I would use it but the splat charger is just objectively better and yeah splat bombs it has splat bombs I like them a lot not my favorite sub but I do like them I, re I really do like them but and then there is stingray I'm just gonna be honest, I'm a douchebag, my favorite special in the game is Stingray, I love it. <laughs> Even though people hate it and say, and people just hate it. And let me tell you, the people who t think that the Stingray is bad don't know how to use it or are just trying to use it in regular matches. In rank, the Stingray is God. Like, you just... Get, if you're on the tower, the enemy stingrays, you, you gotta get off the tower or you're gonna die. In Rainmaker, you're carrying the Rainmaker, oh, the enemy stingrays. There's a high percent chance that you're gonna die. Like, actually, it's not... Stingray is just super meta right now. They need to nerf it. Even though they nerfed it, I still think they do need to nerf it even more. Just the fact that it's so much dependent on the skill of the user is what I like. I prefer the specials in Splatoon 2 over Splatoon 1 because they I think they need a little bit more skill. And yeah. More on Stingray later. Bye bye. You can watch the rest of the match. I'm I'm a force if you can. So, now before we go to the number one, we are gonna do some honorable mentions uh, of weapons that didn't quite make it, but still I like a lot. And the first one of the honorable mentions is about the brand new ballpoint splat. It's so new that I really can't... I haven't played with it that much, so I'm not gonna say it's one of my favorite weapons, but I enjoy it a lot. I normally hate splatlings but the ballpoint is it's my, way more mobile than the other ones I, I really do like it, that it's mobile so yeah that's kind of the thing with that so let's move on to the next one. so the next one of the honorable mentions is a weapon I re I've recently started using a lot 
which is the Tenda Brella. It's the only like Brella weapon I like to use. It's because it's so versatile, it can block, it can it can be very offensive, it can be very defensive, it, it's a great support weapon, it has bubble blower. Squid beacons I really don't like, but the bubble blower does like the like win it over for me. So that's pretty much why I like the tent Brella. The one shot on close range is really good. And fun. And the range is good. So yeah, let's go. So the last of my honorable mentions will be the old afterwatch. Oh my old friend the afterwatch. I used to love using this weapon as well. It was my man. Nowadays I don't believe in names but I love kind of been slapping off with using this. The flings are it was pretty much took over it, but it was still a really hard decision between the decision between this and the thing. But yeah, I like the way it plays, the assassin kind of playstyle, or you can play it aggressively or defensively. So yeah, that's it. So the number one weapon is the slush machine. I love the weapon button one, I love it in button two. I don't main weapons, I don't think it's a good thing to do that, but if I pick it would be the slashing machine. I like the range, it has ultra in just every single other slasher except for the explosion, the new weapon, but I don't like it because it's too slow for me. <laughs> and the sweet spot sound it makes, the slashing machine, it's very satisfying, like I said before with the charger. The sound of the breaking, the glass breaking, it just feels so good to get that. Two shot kills, those are very good, it has a pretty slow kill time, but yeah. And then if you have range problems, you have a stingray. <laughs> this weapon is the reason why I know how to use stingray. And why I love stingray. It just, it, the weapon gets it pretty often, and you, I just, because of this weapon, I learned how to use it. I had to learn how to use it. It's the only. Re it's pretty much the only reason why this weapon is played so often at high levels. And then the sub, because I'm a douchebag, the the auto bombs are my favorite sub in the entire game. <laughs> Even though everyone else hates them, <laughs> they are not good, but they are annoying for the enemies, so I like them. And like. Even the three shot kills, it's not way too slow, but it's pretty slow. But the fact that it's a slosher, that this shot's arc, it's it's really good. Like, you can hit people over walls, around corners a bit. Not as good as blasters, but yeah. And arguably this weapon is the best in tower control. I don't like the Neo variant at all. It doesn't have Stingray <laughs> or Autobombs, so yeah. But it's, it's a good variant, no, not as good as the original, but yeah, it's amazing. I just, this weapon, I use this weapon a lot. That's pretty much the reason why I'm at such high ranks. And ironically, <laughs> my lowest rank is tower control, even though this is the, arguably the best weapon for it. And I don't really like tower control, but I just enjoy using it, the weapon. It's like the corkscrew pattern of, that it has, it's fun to aim, and it's pretty easy to aim, I won't lie right there. But it's not the easiest weapon to aim, but it's not the hardest. That, I would say, goes to the chargers. The chargers require way more skill, and I respect chargers, but that's pretty much one of the only weapons I think that you're like actually allowed to main, because they require a lot of practice. I respect them, but a high level slotting machine player, I respect even more. As long as they're not just basing their build around spamming Stingray, even though it's fun, but it's not fun for the enemies because Stingray is overpowered. And again, I'm not saying I'm a good slotting machine player, I consider myself okay. Not good, just okay. Maybe even a little under at the average, but 
Yeah, oh yeah, and I hear I, you see me doing the super jump back to spawn in the Stingray. It was a lot more popular when you could do it inside of the spawn, but it works, as you see right here. And quick super jump. Awesome. I love, I love the ability, and then I get punished for super jumping to a bad place, but just. There's just something about the slushing machine. I don't know. A lot of people who I know hate to use it because it's weird to aim, but it's just so fun. I love the weapon. I'm pretty sure you know that I love the weapon. It's my number one spot. And yeah, about the auto bombs. Fuck you, E-leaders. <laughs> I hate E-leaders. <laughs> Even though they're, it's not a good weapon, but I respect the players, but seriously, E-leaders, you, you need to calm down. Especially the cops. So it's like the range. <laughs> but well, respect to the year, man. And and that carbon roll again. He's a good player, I think. At least uh, among the players that he did in this game. But I was really stupid. So yeah, that's my top five weapons with honorable mentions in Splatoon 2. That's the list. It's over. Bye-bye. And you can see the results.